It is a beautiful, windy, windy day. I am out here without the kids in what is about to become, starting tomorrow, um, our main water catchment field. So this field out here, turn around so you can see it. I will be getting um, a little over a thousand square feet from it. And I've just been doing some measurements here, trying to figure out the how I can do it in the least invasive sort of way. So how many of these larger trees can I save? And how can I work with what's here already? Now, this is an old road. This is an old, um, this was old ranching property. Um, so a lot of it is already cleared. And that's been one of the hardest things about picking out where these fields will go. Obviously, I have to have a little bit of a slope, although I'll be creating some of that with the little excavator that we're bringing out, uh, which is exciting. Tomorrow's Kubota day, the, so we'll have it for a whole week. Um, but uh, it's that's definitely been hard because everywhere I walk on the property, I go, oh, oh, I love these trees. I love the, the, the character of the land here. Um, I don't want to sacrifice that to being just this open field. So um, it's been hard, but that's one of the reasons that we chose this area that was already open, as open as it was. Uh, and of course, everything we do will be have multiple purposes. So it probably will be the play field for the kids as well. Um, I imagine we'll we'll build some pretend boats and things like that so that they can go on their adventures. Um, who knows, spaceships maybe or something like that. Uh, but uh, I'll bring you along through that process and show you what we're doing. So we'll be putting in a liner here. I'm pretty excited about the idea. We're using uh, TPO, which is usually a roofing uh, material, but it is a cloth. It's a very heavy cloth. So we'll be able to go along the sides and make it a very organic mound up some sides a little bit and then bury the edges of the, the cloth so that it doesn't come up. And of course, put some rocks to weight it down in the middle. Um, and I will show you that when that occurs. 